Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments with you. This week we've been talking about overcoming guilt. I'm just sharing different insights that will help us in this journey of coming to a place where we can live completely free from guilt, shame, and condemnation. Where we can hold our head up high before people and before God. The Bible says that God is the glory and the lifter up of our heads. That's Psalm 3. So He's the one who helps us hold our heads up high. He's not the one who condemns us and puts us down. But the Bible also tells us something about the devil. The Bible says he is the accuser of the brethren, Revelation 12. He is the accuser. So that means there's one thing the devil focuses on, bringing accusation, making us feel guilty about the past, accusing us of the wrong and the things that have happened in our lives in order to condemn us to ourselves and before God, making ourselves feel condemned, unfit, unworthy, accused, condemned before God. The devil's, that's his job. So while we have embraced the truth of God's word and learned to forgive ourselves, we must also reject the accusations of the devil. And how does he do it? By bringing thoughts of guilt, shame, and condemnation. He puts that thought in our mind. Oh, you're so unworthy. Remember what you did. Remember that thing in your life. Remember how you messed up. He brings those things back to us. But when those thoughts of condemnation, accusation come into your mind, reject. See, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, has cleansed me. I am washed, sanctified, justified in Jesus' name. I am loved and accepted in the Beloved. I have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. You reject the, the accusations of the enemy by speaking and acknowledging the Word of God and what the blood of Jesus has done for you. Learn to do that so you can live free from guilt, shame, and condemnation. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your truth that as we speak the truth, the Word of God, the enemy flees. And so in Jesus' name, we reject every accusation and condemnation that the devil brings against us in our mind. We acknowledge the word that we've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.